Hello everyone, this is Sybil. I'm here to share with you my very first pen pal flip book. And this is my video response to Crafty Irina's flip book challenge. Now I normally never ever ever send out cards or things like that for challenges. I like to do challenges where you can make something but not have to send it in. But I fell in love with these flip books. I've watched Scrap Diva 29, Erica. So thank you, Erica, for your inspiration. Your flip books are beautiful and your tutorials are so easily understood. I really, really appreciate that. You have no idea for somebody like me who does not do well with measuring. I really, really appreciate that. And then also, um, Feliz, Feliz Loves Paper and Little Hot Tamale. Those gals are crazy, crazy talented. And I have just had so much fun watching their videos. It's what I've been um, feasting on the last several days. So I made my first flip book for Irene's challenge, for Irene's challenge. And also I wanted to do this for Irene because I feel like um, a debt of gratitude to her. When my husband um, lost his job, she wrote me a private message that deeply touched my heart, and um, I just want to give her a little something back and tell her thank you. And um, so, let me share with you what I have used. I used um, papers from this Serendipity Dear Lizzie paper pad, and I got this from my sweetheart friend, Rebecca the Miss Haven, here on YouTube. And I love this paper pad. It is chock filled with chock full, I guess I should, what I should say, of beautiful papers. So, love those. And they're all single sided, so it was perfect for the flip book. And then I used um, this beautiful washi because most of the colors that I've used in the flip book are spring colors because I don't know about you, but I am so tired of winter and we haven't even really had any snow um, much to speak of. I'm just tired of winter. And um, I do want to suggest that you put your um, washi tape. Now this washi tape is really great quality and I don't know where I got it or if somebody gave it to me, but it sticks down really well. But I still went ahead and used score tape on it and on the sides of my paper and that way just to, you know, make sure my washi was sticking down for sure. And then, like I said, you could also use the red liner tape as well. And I'll show you another trick I did with the washi um, when I show you the book. And then, really quick, I'm going to show you some envelopes that I made. And this is the um, punch that I used. It's from Stampin' Up! And I used this to make these little cute envelopes in my flip book. And... Um, Another thing I did, again real quick, and after this I'll show you the flip book. I'm, I had some uh, a paper pad, and I don't even know what line it was, but it had all these little mason jars. And so what I did was I took my Copic colors, Copic markers, and I colored them a little bit deeper and richer on the lids. And then I put glossy accents, I don't know if that's going to show, there you go, on the lids. I added little sequins. See, I colored those little hearts and added some Wink of Stella, added some cute little sequins, and just did a whole bunch of them in, you know, different things. And so I tucked a few of those away. So I think that's a fun thing to do for your flip books is don't throw away um, maybe papers or things that you think, oh, I would never use that on a card. Cut those things out and use them for, for embellishments for your flip book. Okay, so here it is. Here is the front cover. And I shared this on Instagram, but since I did that, I added some enamel dots. So here is that beautiful, beautiful washi, washi and I've used that throughout the whole flip book. And um, before I share, you, share um, another thing I did with the washi, I just want to show you that I used some chipboard that I've had in my stash forever. So I put that down here, added some baker's twine, and just 
hot glued that along there and then added a couple of little pink bows because it's a banner day. Yay! Um, and then this little bird is there because my theme throughout this is uh, lovebirds because this is a Valentine spring um, flip book for Crafty Irena's Challenge. So this says everything has beauty. I cut this down to size this was paper in my embellishments and stuff. I cut it down and added this little scallop behind it. Um, put this little butterfly here and added a couple of little enamel dots to the center. So there's an enamel dot and this says this life is beautiful. Added another little chipboard piece. Added some gold washi on the side and down on the bottom. And so I will open this up and what I wanted to tell you about the washi, what I did was instead of taking the washi and then clipping it, I did use the um, score tape, but then I, instead of trimming the washi, I just put it down. You know what I mean? I just folded it all the way down. So it's all the way on, on the inside as well. Um, without cutting it and then I cut it somewhere inside you know does that make sense so because if you cut it up there I've noticed then you've got little pieces that can peel off that's just me you know um, but so we'll start over here I um, watched um, Felice Love's paper um, make a vellum pocket and that's what I did here and I don't know if you can see that, but I used this um, stamp set here. It says Forever Friends, and there's a bicycle filled with a basket of hearts. And then there's a little heart there, and I inked up the bike and the Forever Friends in white um, ink, and then stamped it on the vellum, and then did the heart in red. And then I used my heat gun to dry that. And I filled it with some of those mason jars and just a whole bunch of goodies. And I realized I probably put too many goodies in this one. But it does flip up. And then these are those little envelopes that I was telling you about. I love polka dots. So I made them all in polka dots. And then I mentioned um, my theme was, you know, love, valentines, lovebirds. So there's, there's little lovebirds. These are little stamps, and I got those, I think, from Michael's. They're Valentine's, and so, see that little, she can take these out and use them. I kept them back, I kept them on that little sticker paper. And so each one of those little stamps in there have lovebirds on them. This one says, I love you, and on the inside is some lovebirds. See, isn't that cute? So all of them, and there's the little lovebirds right there on the bottom there. And then I added some cute little bows that I got from Natasha's Scrapbook Corner. I'm going to have to tape this back down better. And then in the middle is my mail tag. So I, actually I used a, an, you know, a regular tag. I put some washi here to keep it. And then um, I colored that whimsy. I think it's a whimsy image and I thought she was perfect because she's holding a rose a pink rose and I love roses and um, she has a little heart there on her dress and an envelope so I thought she was perfect for this tag and I colored her previously so I added her there and then um, cut out from my paper just a little like a little banner or arrow and then I put the um, letters there for mail and then a, some hearts, added a few little sequins there, put a doily behind her, and then over here it says tag. And so when you open this up, there is my tag. But before I read you what I, my answers are, I did some washi um, on a, what is it called, Project Life card, You Are My Sunshine. So that flips down, and then this one, Smile First, and that's from Heidi Swap, and that flips up so she can use those. Um, and then my answers to um, Irene's questions. 
um, what was your what's your most romantic Valentine movie? And I wrote Return to Me, starring Minnie Driver and David Duchovny. I think that is hilarious. I love it. I love every part of that movie, and my husband loves it too. Um, my favorite meal for Valentine's is prime rib, baked potato, and a Caesar salad. And then number three is most loved Valentine's Day gift. Uh, Pandora bracelet with lovely charms. My husband gave that to me three years ago. Um, best Valentine's gift. I have given my heart filled with love for my husband. And then I added a couple little heart stickers there and XOXO. Favorite Valentine's flower, roses, whether they're red or pink. And then I added that little sticker there. Okay. So then I made a little pocket over here. And I put these, I put this rub on of these two little birdies there. And then this um, Project Life pocket, I cut it down to size, so then I just rounded the corners. Um, and it has the little hearts there, so I thought the left birds, you know, fit perfectly there. And they're looking up at the hearts. And then I just added um, some alphas, round alphas, to spell out love birds. And then inside, I put a. Um, couple of blue doilies for Irene to use in these same soft colors. And then I've got this. It's find something you love and um, you love and do it forever. And I added a little bow up there with some bling. And then back here, I added two more little love birds and a heart. And also, I thought this was the coolest little card there. I love turquoise, that blue, and the gold. And it says, Be Crafty. So there's another card for her to use. I was going to tuck a whole bunch of goodies in this one. Oops. But the reason I didn't is because I was afraid it wouldn't close because I filled so much in this first pocket. So now I know to kind of spread the love around a little bit more. And then on the back here it says, hello love, and I put a gold heart there. And those are also from that um, line that the banner is from here. And then on the very back, um, I have a little envelope and I already have my letter and it fits perfectly inside there. And it says, be mine, sweetheart. And there's a little love bird on top of that deer. And the deer is holding um, a little envelope and there's a bicycle because I love bicycles, two more hearts, and then handmade by Sybil Brewer, and it has my YouTube channel there. And then I just added some polka dot and used a scallop punch for that. And there's that bicycle again. So that is my very first um, flip book. I'm going to get this out in the mail in the morning. And Irene, I hope um, if you're watching this video that you enjoy the flip book. And there's my pocket letter, my not pocket letter, um, my letter to Irene in there. She'll probably have to work a little bit to get it out of there. But that is my flip book. I had so much fun. I'm already working on my second one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye now.